Hello, I'm Heyman Tahani, Director of Product Management at Good Technology. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about Touch ID support. As you know, Good has had support for the trusted authentication framework in the Good Dynamics platform that allows users to use things like biometrics to log into applications using two-factor authentication. We have now announced support for Touch ID so users can easily authenticate into applications using their fingerprints. The way we have implemented this is if a user logs into an application that is not running in the background, uh, we call it a cold start, the user is still asked for their pa strong password. But if the application is running in the background and is password locked, um, when a user brings it to the foreground, they're asked for their fingerprint, and once authenticated, the application just launches. Uh, we believe this will make the experience for the end user quite useful. Uh, it is a password policy, so IT admin can turn this on or off. By default, this is disabled, so you will have a choice to enable this in your particular environment. Uh, rather than talking about it, I'd like to show you the IT admin console as well as the end user experience for this particular feature. You're looking at the good control management console. Here I'm under the policy sets looking at my demo policy. Under the security tab, you'll see a new option that allows enabling or disabling of Touch ID. I will enable this option and now I will show you what this looks like for the end user on their mobile device. On the mobile device, I have the App Store versions of good software as well as ISV and some custom apps that we've built internally. I will open Good Access, which is running in the background and is password locked at this time, and it should prompt me for my Touch ID. So here you see the screen that's asking me to authenticate using my Touch ID using Good Access. Again, this will only work on iOS devices that are capable of using Touch ID as a means of authentication. I can here choose to enter my password or just authenticate using my Touch ID. And here I'm entered into the Good Access application. I could do the same thing for any Good Dynamics based application that supports Touch ID with the latest release of the platform SDK. The other use case you want to see is if I go and I kill this application, and this will be the same as a cold start for the application, and then I try to open Good Access again, rather than prompting me for Touch ID this time, it's asking me to enter my strong password. And once I enter the password, it will take me into the application. So I hope this gives you a good feel for what the end user experience looks like for Touch ID. As you just saw, Touch ID support is going to make the life of your end users a lot better. This is the number one feature that we have received feedback from users on on the Apple App Store as well as in our good communities. Um, you now have control to enable or disable this feature in your environment for your users that are running iOS devices that are capable of supporting Touch ID. Uh, we will have a white paper that will be released shortly so you can um, go through the technical aspects and get it approved by your security and compliance folks. We look forward to your feedback on this feature on both uh, the App Store as well as our community sites. Thank you.